Tonight, Julia Gillard travels to China, ready to tackle the North Korean threat head on. The man charged with the murder of Jill Ma pleads guilty in court. Daylight saving, why some states love it and why other states want to go North Korea on the rest of us. Polite racism, why it's not the crazy screaming bigots we have to worry about. And against the odds, the teenager who's paralysed from the waist down but has learnt to move on his own. I put one knee forward and then the other one and it, it wasn't, it was slow but I was moving. This is The Project. Just, just let that one land. Uh, moving on to an amazing story now, and a severe spinal cord injury usually means life in a wheelchair. But despite being told he'll never walk again, one Aussie teenager is determined to get back on his feet. Christmas, New Year's, um, just all the big days where, you know, you think about what you did with your mates last year. It's like, I'm not doing that right now. And it, it just it kills you. It does. It really kills you. Twelve months ago, 19-year-old Tom Barber had the world at his feet. He was a talented sportsman, studying an engineering commerce degree. But in an instant, his bright future was changed forever. I think about it every day. I wake up thinking, what if you can play the what-if game every day, all day? What if I didn't walk that way? What if I stayed at someone's house? Tom was leaving a university ball when he took a shortcut through a construction site. Struggling to see in the dark, he fell off the side of the building and plunged eight metres. I was unconscious for four hours and woke up, pushed up, knees didn't come up. Tried again, knees didn't come up. I looked behind me and I saw that my legs were just lifeless. They just didn't move and I was like, all right, I've just broken my back. A security guard heard Tom's screams and he was rushed to hospital for life-saving surgery. While he was in a coma, his family was told he'd shattered his sternum, broken four ribs, two vertebrae and partially severed his spinal cord, making him permanently paralysed from the waist down. The hardest part was when they said, you know, we're going to take him out of sedation. And he was so excited to be awake, to be alive, and we've gone, whoa, how do we sort of, how do we do this? But when he came out of his coma, Tom's first thought was his girlfriend of six weeks, Meg. When I woke up from my accident, I asked mum and dad, is Meg still here? And they went, mate, she's been amazing. She's been here every day. She's been my rock every bad day. She's got me through it. Um, she just sees me for me. She doesn't see the chair. It didn't cross my mind to think, oh, look, that's the end of that. Shame. It was more like, I need to be by him through this. With Meg's love and the rest of his family's support, Tom vowed to one day walk again. From the very, very start, he's always been determined to get back on his feet. From the first time, he told me in hospital, I'm not going to walk again, but I'm going to do everything I can to get there. Tom's family and friends raised $50,000 to send him to Project Walk, a spinal cord injury recovery centre in America. Halfway through the 12-week program, the unbelievable happened. Despite having no feeling below his waist, Tom crawled on his own. I put one knee forward and then the other one, and it, it wasn't, it was slow, but I was moving. It was just great to be able to move from one point to another on my own. And a week later, another incredible breakthrough. And then, yeah, he rode the spin bike. Yeah. <laughs> For time, it was big. You know, for somebody who wasn't supposed to be able to walk yeah. or move to ride a bike, since then he can go backwards, <laughs> you know, fast, slow. While spinal cord injuries like Tom's have long been considered a life in a wheelchair, programs like Project Walk are questioning that school of thought. And while it's still controversial, some in the field now believe the central nervous system can be retrained to find new pathways for movement. You know, all the evidence supports that once you've lost the neural input or the nerve supply to the muscles, that's it, and you're not going to be able to get that back. However, there's lots of cases where people have been able to regain function in other ways, so, so retraining other muscles, and what Tom's doing is um, using his muscle spasms to be able to create movement. Tom knows any recovery will be limited, but striving for any improvement he can, he's already planning another trip to Project Walk. He is so determined. I have every hope in him that he'll do everything he can to walk again and even if he doesn't, that's not a problem. It's just the fact that he's constantly trying and that's all that matters.
If it's with a walker, if it's with crutches, I don't care. If I'm upright by myself, getting from point A to B, living my life, then I'll be happy. Talk about inspirational Australians. Tom, you're one of them. Absolutely. Incredible. And the support he's receiving there oh. is inspirational as well. Mm -hmm. uh, for more information on Tom and how you can get behind him, head to our website. The details are there. We're going to take a break.